Okay, so 2003 Taurus. Complaint is the charging system indicator light is on, the battery light. I have my equipment hooked up on here. I did pull a code. This thing has a 1246 and the light is not on right now, which is pretty interesting. Let's see what it is. And of course my scanner shut off. Back, I can it. Zero percent on the monitor for the generator, right? What that equates to is what? What does that mean? These are computer controlled, these alternators. My green is hooked up to my monitor signal. Okay, now this. This is reading right now about five five and a half volts roughly right this should be a square wave and I have, I have nothing here I have uh, it's just a steady volt okay that's that's not what we're looking for this thing is gonna have a bad alternator it is charging I just looked and the battery light is on now, I'll show you. The indicator did come on. Okay, our battery light is on. Because it's seeing an issue there, it's, it's seeing a problem, so it's gonna put the light on. So what we're gonna do is order an alternator for this. All back. right guys, so we've got our, uh, we've got our alternator in the vehicle. I didn't film it, I'm by myself, I'm uh, doing a couple of things, so I didn't film the actual alternator being put on because I would have shut the camera off 20 times, but it's in, and I'm going to just show you where we're at. Uh, right now, the vehicle is running. Of course, it has no gas in it, because that's how they always bring them to you. Um, car doesn't run right, I don't know what's wrong with it, it has no gas, can't test drive, you can't do anything to verify anything, that's cool. Alright, so I'm going to stop ranting. You can see the battery light is out. And what I'm gonna show you is the scope now. It's still hooked up the same way. Here's my uh, battery voltage, my uh, monitor, and my, my um, command, okay? So as you can see, we have a bit of a different waveform now. All right? Watch the green trace. See how we're getting, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go back. You see how we're getting a pulse here, right? I'm gonna, I'll zoom in on this too for you. Okay, you see these little sets of pulses here? This is the command. This thing is at idle right now. So it's not seeing a need to increase the uh, amperage, the output of the alternator. Okay, so you're going to see these pulses every few seconds, every five seconds or so roughly, okay? Right here. This is going to be a constant, this, this, this other line is going to be a constant square wave, which is correct, okay? It's about zero to ten volts. Now, uh, let's see where we're at here. We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you, you know, Hang on, go back a little, there we go. Okay, you see now, right here, at this point is where I turn loads on on the vehicle. I put the uh, AC on, uh, or the head, I, I don't know what I put on at this point, I think it was the AC, and you'll see that it's got a lot more activity, okay, because it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna ramp up that alternator. So now, this is the way the circuit's supposed to work when you have a working 
alternator and PCM. Uh, most of the time with these systems, I've seen bad alternators, okay? Very rarely, uh, if ever, have I seen a bad PCM. Now, I'll just leave this back. I'll put this back on here. You can see it's just gonna, it's just gonna continue to All do right, its guys, thing. Now that, we got this, uh, now that we got this Taurus sorted out with the charging problem, um, I wanted to just go over something real quick, right? Uh, as you saw here, we used the Pico to, uh, to check this system out to see what was going on. Um, a lot of guys, I, like I'm on a lot of the, uh, the Facebook groups and um, I, you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff with uh, guys looking to purchase scopes and things. And I mean, I, I was in the same boat for a while, like trying to you know, figure out what was better, what was not good, whatever, what to buy. Um, and of course, you always end up with more than one uh, with stuff like this. So I mean, I had a, I had an older uh, OTC scope for a long time. We had um, we had a few of them laying around the shop, different uh, scopes and stuff. So uh, as time went on, you start using it more for you know as you gain knowledge with them, I guess. And um, you know, I'm learning uh, more and more uh, every every day. I guess I'm trying to learn something new um, with. You know, scope testing. Obviously, a lot of stuff now is the insulin, the pressure, which I'm trying to learn. And uh, you know, there's always something. These guys are always uh, learning how to uh, how to get around. Um, you know, to new testing. So that's what it's all about. What I wanted to touch on, though, with this car is I use the Pico because it's a four-channel scope, and I can monitor obviously up to four signals at one time, right? On this particular car, I wanted to see uh, three signals at least at one time. Uh, I would have actually liked to put a current uh, check current on this thing as well, just to have it as a uh, as a reference. But um, you know, in the in the in the in the waveform. But I uh, grabbed my current clamp and it was uh, it was dead, and I don't have another battery laying around here to put in it. Uh, I'm out of them. I have a bad habit of uh, putting them back in uh, in my uh, my bag and uh, leaving them on, or they get hit, the switch gets hit and put on. So. Whatever, uh, not, I didn't need it. It wasn't a big deal. I mean, I would have ran to the store if it was that you know important, but uh, I really didn't need it for this. Uh, aside from that, what I was really looking to touch on is that guys are always asking what scope to get, right? Well, personally, I have a Pico. Obviously, I have a uh, Vantage Pro, which I'm sure you've seen me use in other videos. And I also have a U-Scope right now, okay? I've had other scopes. I've sold them over the years, uh, you know, as I didn't really need uh, five or six of them laying around the shop. There was no need for that, so I got rid of them. Uh, they were nowhere near as good as what we have now, uh, so I saw no reason to keep them around uh, when somebody else could put them to use. So, uh, with that said, can you check this without having a four-channel scope or you know being able to monitor all three lines? Yeah, you can. Um, is it as efficient? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, gathering the data as quickly as possible obviously helps us to fix the car as quickly as possible, right? So, what I did want to show you though is I, I had a couple of guys uh, asking me about the U-Scope and um, I know a lot of, you know, other guys are using these things now in video, so I mean it's nothing new to see really, but I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, here's my U-Scope, a pretty rubber boot on it, right, protect it. Uh, I love this thing, okay, I think this thing is fantastic for, for uh, quick tests. And um, as Keith has said, uh, you know, if you if you need a scope for like a single channel uh, that you're monitoring, uh, it's it's incredible. It's it's really really nice. It's compact. You can carry it in your pocket, obviously, and uh, you could use it, you know, whenever you need it. So, um, with that said, I'm going to show you what the what the same patterns look like on the U scope. The only difference being that I can only monitor one at a time. Okay. So first, I have my ground lead hooked up. I'm going to take this lead, and I'm going to plug in. If I can keep, I'm going to try here to use my phone as a as a rest for this thing, so you can see it. I'll turn you guys down a little bit, you get a better view. And I'm going to run this lead. Watch the green trace. Okay, we're we're at ground right now. As you can see, I just plugged in to the battery feed on the alternator. Okay, I still have my probes hooked up. So. As you can see the trays here, we're at uh, we're at 13 volts right now. Okay, you can see right here, where the the scale all the way up would be 39 volts. I'm set at a five volt um, five volt scale, so that I can get the pattern on the screen when I'm checking this. Right. So right now I have a cursor in. 
I brought a cursor down just to show the voltage is 13 volts right now. So now I'm going to start it. All right. And you can see my voltage obviously went up a little bit. I can bring that cursor uh, over. I can't see. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this while I'm holding it on camera. And bring it up to match. We're at 14 volts now. Okay, you can see my scale move. My my uh, cursor. I move my cursor to where the where the line is, and we're at 14 volts. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my probe. I'm going to move to another probe. And this is going to be the um, this is the command from the alternator. So now you can see you see that little spike here to five volts. There it is again. It's going to be every few seconds, okay, to show that this this is uh, this is working. All right. You see how it's uh, you see how it, you see how this uh, this voltage is coming up and there's a little wave here, right? Now I'm going to pause it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to try to remember how to do this actually. I got to remember how to do this. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I got to go back. Voltage here. And what I can do is I can actually zoom in on this. So we can actually zoom in on our command line with the with the scope, okay? You can do that. You have to change the voltage scale after you pause it. So now I'm gonna resume where, where we were. And I'm also going to change my time back to I'm gonna put it at one second. Okay. Now you see. You see where we're at here, okay? That's the command. Now I'm going to switch over to the last uh, part of the circuit here. And you're gonna, you should see a consistent square wave, pretty much, okay? This is the monitor back to the PCM. And you can do the same thing here. You can pause it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep writing on the screen until, that, until it finishes, and then it's going to stop, okay? You see the hold is, is uh, lit up here. And I can do the same thing. I go back and I can change my time base and I can zoom in on the signal. All right, so yeah, I can check this uh, with the U-scope as well. That's basically what I was getting at. Let me shut this off. Put that again. All right, so what I was getting at right is that you can check it with the, with the single channel scope. Is it as efficient? No, it's, it takes more time um, because you have to you have to make more connections, right? You have to go through the circuit. But the point being that if that's what you have and that's all you have, yeah, you can use it. The Pico obviously is much better for this kind of testing because you can monitor multiple channels, like I said. So I just wanted to touch on that while I have everything out here and I was uh, I, I had my my uh, you, my excuse me my U scope inside charging. So I figured I would, uh, I figured I would uh, make a quick demonstration of it on this car after it was fixed, and show you that uh, it works really nice. It gives you a really nice uh, waveform, and uh, I want to use it more than I have been. I haven't been using it a lot. Uh, I'm learning new techniques with it. I just uploaded the new software for it. Uh, it works real nice, and uh, there's a lot you can do with the scope. If you guys haven't seen. Uh, there's a there's a video there's there's three videos online that were put up in the last couple of months. I'll try to look for a link and see if I can find it. I'll put it in the video. In any case, uh, if you guys have a U scope, uh, they do a really good job of going through what you can do with it and how to uh, perform certain functions with it, and uh, it works great. So it's a it's a it's a it's a lot of scope for the for the money. The only I mean 
really the only downside, if you could call it that, is that it's a single channel. But aside from that, it's fantastic, and it will do uh, it will do a good job. So again, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.